I am Jenny with Roots and Wings Furniture and today I'm going to be showing you a makeover on laminate furniture. Um, a lot of times someone might have a hand-me-down piece of furniture or um, have something in a kid's room that is laminate and I think our first reaction is just to throw it away but you don't have to. Sometimes it's a very solid piece of furniture. Uh, it just needs a little bit of a refreshing. So this desk is like that. Um, this is a hand-me-down from a friend, and the top of it is the laminate top. Um, some dressers are like this, desks often, and I'm going to show you how to paint it up. We're going to paint the whole thing white, and I will show you my favorite white paint. And also, I'm going to keep these knobs. Anytime you can keep hardware, it always saves a little bit of money. So I'm going to keep the knobs and just replace the poles over here with um, something that I think goes a little bit better. Um, so that's what we're going to do on this desk today. First step, I'm going to remove all the hardware. Alright, I've removed all the hardware on the piece. Um, the top of this is laminate and the drawer fronts are wood. So we are going to sand the top especially well. And I'm gonna sand the top with 120 to start. Um, you're gonna go in circular motions. Don't worry about going with the grain on the top. Um, I wanna do circular motions and um, just get it really nice and scratched up. No need for an arm workout today because this will do it for you. Um, you can see that the top is really dusty um, and this is just what we want so it's nice and scratched up. It's not really smooth to the touch anymore um, and this will just make sure the paint adheres really well. I'm going to go ahead and go over the rest of it, all the wood parts, just with 220 like we normally do before we paint and um, then I will get started with the general finishes milk paint. wipe down and get all the dust off. My favorite general finishes milk paint white is a custom mix of two colors. Um, go ahead and click on over to the blog and I will have the recipe there. I feel like it covers better than Snow White by itself but it's not quite as creamy as an off-white. So click on over and I will tell you how I mix this up. And we're gonna paint this on just like we would um, a regular piece of furniture that's wood. Uh, so I think laminate seems super intimidating because it's not real wood, but it doesn't have to be. Um, General Finishes Milk Paint has great adhesion. It just sticks to everything really well. We've done our prep work by doing some extra sanding. Um, and if you're really nervous about it, after we get the paint on, you can do a clear top coat. Um, I don't think I will on this piece. I think that this will be sufficient. Um, but it's just gonna make this fresh and modern and really pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up with this first coat. Always remember to go section by section on furniture and keep your strokes long and continuous. two pet peeves I have real quick when um, refinishing. People forget to do the inside, I guess you can see here, the inside edges. Um, some drawers go all the way in and when you push in a drawer all the way you're gonna see if this isn't painted. So make sure you just hit, I mean not, it doesn't have to be pretty, 
just get some color in there so when the drawer is pushed all the way in, you can't see that edge. And I always forget to look to see if a piece is like that or not. So if you are smarter and more prepared than I am, you can check your drawers before you take them all out. The other place that really bothers me is in here. Do you see this edge right here? If it's left wood, it's like only the front plane has been painted. But if you just hit it with just that little bit of paint, it's so much less noticeable. It looks like the whole piece was meant to be painted. Um, those are just two areas I notice all the time. And if I forget to do that, it just drives me nuts. So um, make sure you get those two pieces. And I'm just gonna finish up this last side here. Keep in mind also, as you're painting this first coat of white paint, first coats of white paint always look horrible. So you feel like you just ruined your piece of furniture, um, even though you had this great white beauty in mind, and it just kind of looks like crap because it's so streaky. And I don't want you to be discouraged because the second coat will really look so much better. I noticed this the most on white. Um, and some other colors just really don't look nice on your first coat. Don't be discouraged, just hang in there. Once this first coat has dried, I'm going to give it a couple of hours, and then we'll come back in with our second coat the same way, and it will start to look like a beautiful dust. I always take the drawers out. While I'm painting, I like to do them separately. Um, that's why they're not in. I just feel like you get a cleaner finish um, on the drawers and then you don't miss any of the trim pieces where the drawers sit. first coat is dry and we are ready for the second coat. I'm going to do it exactly the same way and there's no sanding needed between coats. through with a third coat and just do touch up and I did the third coat exactly the same way that I did the second coat that I showed you um, and it was really just an area so when you're working with white you're probably gonna have to do three coats just know that going into it um, and this uh, custom mix white I have helps that so you don't have to do so many um, so I'm gonna go through and distress now I'm gonna take my 120 sandpaper and just fold it up and then go over the edges and then we will reattach the hardware you on this drawer front here. I'm going to distract it a little bit more so you can see it here. I'm just going to go over all of the raised edges. You can see it just gives it a little bit of character and brings it to life. So now I'm going to reattach the hardware that I have for it. And just a quick tip, I always keep the hardware for a project and I have a couple of these little wooden boxes. I don't know what they are, like old jewelry boxes. Um, it keeps everything together on the project I'm working on, all the old screws and everything. Um, so that, just something to keep in mind. It keeps me a little bit more organized. drawers and get the hardware reattached and I can't wait to show you the finished product. Alright so this piece is finished up. Uh, click the link below to go to the blog for the supply list of everything you need to complete this project. 
as well as the custom color mix of white that this color is. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.